So earlier today we talked about going on a journey. I said you were taking me on a journey and you're going to take me on an actual physical journey now because yeah. we're going to extend from that design. I think you want me to feel something in yeah. the landscape. Exactly. So this is one of the last stages of your design. You have to really put language, forms, shapes. And the only way to do this is really to feel the landscape. How do you feel it? There are open structures uh -huh. or open spaces. Yes. And then there are structures. Right. You can imagine very abstract. That's, this is like just a plane. Uh -huh. And those are like higher structures. Yes. Lower structures. And you can really make them very abstract into like rectangle shapes and, and look at those shapes. Try to see those shapes. For example, we have this shelter here, mm -hmm. like one big mm -hmm. wall, yeah. for example. So a good design is a balance between open spaces and those structures. If we okay. want to look afar, then we want our eyes to be guided. You see the left there is a structure not too high and at the right there is a structure mm -hmm. so your need eyes to look to, yeah. are guided and it's nice it's a little bit curved mm -hmm. so it's not straight if it's straight you see everything we people we are very curious yeah, beings we need to be led around and yeah. keep on the path exactly yeah. if you yeah. go on a place and you can see everything yeah it's boring yeah. it doesn't intrigue you anymore mm -hmm. So it's like a slow reveal yeah, and you have to keep interested. Exactly. And okay. that's the way you have to design yeah. your property. Okay. It's a slow reveal. You have to have a lot of corners. For example, here we're going to go to the left mm -hmm. and left side of us, there is a wall. Mm -hmm. So here you see a lot of openness. You feel safe because nobody can attack you from mm -hmm. here because it's kind of a wall. Mm -hmm. It's still something very primitive. Mm -hmm. And then if you go left, you see, ah, what is going to be left? So you're curious. Sure. You want your landscape to like, come closer, I've got yeah. cookies. <laughs> For example, now we're gonna take this turn. We'll look to the left and then, bath. Mm -hmm. A whole new world opens. Now it's a little bit rectangular. Mm -hmm. It's not that special, but... Yeah, but you can still see in the distance there's something else. There there's is that sense of keeping going. There's something else. Yeah. At yeah. the end, what yeah. would there be? Uh -huh. We're curious. We're gonna find out. Are we gonna jog? So you want to stay intrigued? Mm -hmm. You have a little present. Mm. Orange raspberries. So here. Have one. Oh my goodness. I haven't actually ever had an orange raspberry before. No? no. First time? Yeah. You're an uh, orange raspberry virgin? Oh. Mm. Oh my goodness. So that's surprise number mm. one. You want to keep on exploring. Mm -hmm. It would even be better if there were more curves here. Mm -hmm. But we didn't do it because it's a production farm. It needs okay. to go fast. But yep. if it's more romantic, you want more curves. Okay. So we're going to go mm -hmm. a little further. So we're going to stop here. And you see, we have this frame. Mm -hmm. um, your father was a film director. What's the most important thing in, in, in making films is like finding the right Absolutely. frames. How to frame mm -hmm. things, how to frame And piece. telling the story, as yeah. you say, there's a reveal and there's yeah. building up that exactly. momentum and that energy. Yeah, and yeah. Interesting. designing a landscape is exactly the same okay. as framing a movie. Mm -hmm. You want to have compelling views, you want to have compelling frames. So everywhere you look, you have to have this beautiful frame. So here you see the two sides of your television screen, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. cinema screen, and then behind it, wow, an openness. Here you see all these little trees mm -hmm. zigzagging. Yeah. And yeah. for me, it's very pleasant okay. for the eye because yeah. your, your gaze is like going through it. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then if you look backwards, I think it's a little bit boring because it's too straight, but again... I quite like it though because it's a fairy story. There's something mm. about it. Yeah. Still path going somewhere, you know. Yeah. It's Who like is that? the Wizard of Oz, the Yellow oh, Brick indeed. Road. And you know that the orange raspberries are there as well, so you're quite Voila. excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, 
it's a very personal thing. Some yeah. people like this. Uh -huh. Some people rather say, no, I want more curvatures. Yeah. Yep. Um, and this way you have to yeah, walk around and, and try to have see and, and, and feel yeah. it. And, and what's very important is you have big and then you go smaller, mm -hmm. go big again. So there's quite a lot of diversity. You go smaller again. You, yeah. you need to have these narrow points. So it's, it's exciting, yeah. narrow points. Wow, well, where, where are we going? And then, bam, you have an openness mm -hmm. again. Then you walk far, further, you see like, a hole and you want to go to that hole mm -hmm. and then when you're in that hole it's mysterious because like you're in a tunnel and then what's at the end of the tunnel then wow you have openness again closeness openness the, you have to have these contrasts mm -hmm. and the only way to do this is just experience it and oh. play with it and just doing it yeah. so you need to take some time to yeah, have this definitely. absolutely no absolutely fascinating